Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Ian Ashok and Arach. Today's simon is Yod Ches and Arach Hayim. We're still dealing with Sitzis. Today we're talking about a thing basically we've touched upon many times about the exact Zaman that you're Hayim in Sitzis. Now, of course, this is based on Machlokis and Roshimon and Rabban. Rabban hold you're always Machlokis in Sitzis, even if it's pajamas, even if it's nighttime, you're always Machlokis in Sitzis. It's not a Mitzvah Seisha Zaman Grama, it's a Mitzvah Seisha Lava Zaman Grama, it applies all the time. But Shimon we pass in like and like a Bryce and Kedusha and Lama Gilan Bay says says this is Lavzman, Mitzvah Zate says Lawzman Grama, and the Gemara in Menachem Ben Gimel proves that Rab Shimon proves it because he says Raisa Moso Pralik Sus Lila Sus Sus Lila you can't see a bed of God in pajamas that you wear at night, right? Or a blanket that you'd only use at night, you would be Potter and Sitzis because uh, it's Sus Lila, it's Mukhad for the night. Now, if you'd wear um, during the day, technically it sounds like it's only. Uh, Lila, and if I wear pajamas during the day, even if it's during the day, I'd be potter. And if I wear my day clothes, I sleep in the clothes I wear during the day at night, I'd be chayiv and tzitzis, even at night. It's not, the Rambam has a huge chiddush. The Rambam, uh, Paragimel, uh, Hilka Sitzis, he says, big chiddush, that it's a, a mitzvah stage has man grama, just like tefillin, uh, Lila has man tefillin, who Lila also allows man tzitzis to. And when it says, Pratlik Sus Lila, it's just symbolic of telling you that anything. Uh, the whole night time is exempt from the mitzvah of Sitzis. This is what we've been dealing with in a Sif Aleph over here. This Machlok is in the Rambam and the Russian and the Nachaminas, which are to be able to say both shitas, and therefore you shouldn't make a bracha on the Sitzis until it's during the day, and it's something that you wear during the day, so you can be able to say both the Rambam and the Rush. Otherwise, Savik Brach Sakhli, you shouldn't make a bracha on the Sitzis. Um, now, and then we learn in Sif Gimel um, an interesting halacha that there's a new time that you're supposed to make a bracha on tzitzis after Amor HaShachar. If you look on the Luach, on the, the calendar, um, it's after both both Amor HaShachar. There's two, there's two calculations of Amor HaShachar. There's a third calculation before Nitzach Hama for Zman tzitzis with, with Tfilin. Um, and that's based on a Mishnah. Uh, that says, what's the, the Mishnah on Brachos? And the says, when are you Chayim in Kriya Shema? When you can distinguish between um, you can distinguish between Tcheles and Lavan. Between the colors, Tcheles Lavan. Tosa says Tcheles and Lavan. You look at your sitzes strings and you can tell uh, between the difference between Tcheles and the Lavan. So that's the time you have in Kriya Shema. So it comes out according to that that Kriya Shema also it would be high. You can't say Kriya Shema. Zman uh, Kriya Shema is, is not Amura Shachar. You have to wait until about an hour before Nitzach Hama. Zman Sitzis Tfilin the Kriya Shema. The Luach just says Zman Sitzis Tfilin, but it really is applying to Kriya Shema also. The Vilna Gon, uh, the, the Gra, brings a Raya for Halacha Gimel over here. You have to have this new Zman, because he says the Gemara Menachos, there it is, the Gemara Menachos on Mem Gimel or Bez, says like this, according to Reb Shimon, Reb Shimon, he the Amar, Tanya Idach, where Yisim HaSoh is Chartim as Kol Mitzvot Hashem, Keva and Shnei Shchayim Adam, the mitzvah zu nischayev b'chol mitzvahs kulon. You look at your sitzis. Once you're chayev in that mitzvah, meaning ostensibly when you're able to distinguish the tcheles and lavon based on, then you're chayev mitzvahs kulon. The gross says mitzvahs kulon means the other mitzvahs, not all the mitzvahs. It means the mitzvahs of kriyashma and the mitzvahs of tefillah, like the Mishnah in Brachos says. The mitzvah of kriyashma depends on mitzvah of sitzis. When you let's say it depends on mitzvah of sitzis, it depends on you can tell the difference in tcheles and lavon. Uh, the the gra fits that into this gemara and he says that um, that that's what it means the gemara over here that this that when you're chayiv in this mitzvah sits it's then you're chayiv in mitzvahs kulon and the, not all the mitzvahs the gra says that the gemara just means tefillin uh, and kriyashma because that's what the gemara the mishnah in in uh, brachos says only kriyashma over there. There's a lot of problems with all these Gemaras. First of all, uh, the Gemara in Kedusha in, in Brachos says on Chedamud Beis that Kriya Shema, you could be able to say, Kriya Shema Shal Shachar, it's Achrei Amur HaShachar. It doesn't say this new time uh, of Heir Pnei Mizrach or distinguishing Tcheles and Lavan. Um, it's be Paskin like that. You can, it says you can say two times at night. You can say two times Kriya Shema at night. One, Diyotzei Shachar Shal Arvis. One, Shachar Shal Shachar. And one before Mura Shachar, one after Mura Shachar. Seeing the time is a Mura Shachar. First, furthermore, the Mishnah and Megillah says all the mitzvahs that apply during the day, and we're saying, according to the Rambam, that Laila laws man tefillin sitzesu, so it's man sitzes the yom, so the day begins alos ta shachar, alos a Mura Shachar, and that's exactly what Mishnah and Daf Chaf and Megillah says all the mitzvahs hayom begin technically alos a Mura Shachar. Lachatchila is supposed to wait till Nezachama, but the Eved 
could be also the shakha. You can make a bracha but the yeah, right? So it's very questionable why, and the Gra is very mocked with it. He says, you're not allowed to make a bracha uh, before this man sits, this is man's filling. Amur shakha is not good enough. Um, even though the Ramah says technically you could make a bracha, the Gra and the Mishnah Bura brought that you shouldn't make a bracha. So it's very questionable what's going on over here, especially according to the rush, because according to the rush, all that's exempt is not Lila is not Lavs Man Sitsis, it's Ksus Lila, is not Chayav and Sitsis. So if I wear my Ksus Lila, my Ksus Yom, right, I wear my Bugadim that I wear during the day, I put on Sitsis, the normal Sitsis that we wear, we usually wear it during the day and night, so I put it on 2 o'clock in the morning, it's still Ksus Yom, so I should make a bracha at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's hard to understand why you shouldn't make a bracha. Um, based on all this, and, and of course, the, the bigger question is how can we pass on the Rav Shimon over the Rabbanan? The Rabbanan says, that applies all the time, and they say, Rizem also uh, tells me, is called Mitzvah Hashem. Rizem, you should see this Mitzvah. By seeing the Mitzvah of Sitzis, you'll do uh, another Mitzvah, you'll do the Mitzvah of Kriyashma. Um, that's what it's, that's what the Gemara says there. Before this, this Gemara just quoted. It says you do you'll see you'll see the strings of 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 sitzis and you'll do another mitzvah. You do a kriya shema. Um, so what's going on over here? So I'd like to suggest a, a big chiddush over here. Uh, tell me what you think about this in the comments. Mitzvah shas man grama, according to the Rab, to, to Rab Shimon, what does it mean? He just exempts ksus ksus. Lila, but if you wear, but technically the mitzvah says applies the whole day and the whole night if you wear exus yom, so it applies. All, so you can't say it's mitzvah as a because certain begodim are excluded. I want to say according to Rav Shimon, huge uh, chedesh that Rav Shimon is saying mitzvah has man grama that technically we're not chayiv and tzitzis nowadays. Only most of Mashiach. That's his, his machal. It's called mitzvah has man grama uh, because it applies at certain times, meaning in most of Mashiach, and now it doesn't apply. Nowadays, it doesn't apply. And technically, we know it doesn't apply nowadays because, of course, you don't have to put on scissors. You don't have... There's no obligation to wear a four-cornered garment and put scissors on. I mean, we, we're mechai of ourselves in the mitzvah, but technically, there really is no chiv, and that's really how we believe. There really is no chiv in the mitzvah. Rav Shimon learned, the mitzvah has man grama, it's going to apply in most of Mashiach. And that's what the Gemara says. Uh, Rav Shimon Darshan, the reason why, what does he do? Is chayatim is kol mitzvah of Hashem. Kei mitzvah is chay of mitzvah zu, any most of Mashiach, when we'll understand the nature of the mitzvah, that's what he darshans, ksus laila. The whole idea behind tzitzis doesn't apply to pajamas. It only applies during the day. If you listen to yesterday's share, I explained why the mitzvah of tzitzis is relevant only during the day. It's only relevant by ksus yom. Um, it's relevant to blankets that you use during the day, to underwear you use during the day, with tassels, fringes, things like that. You have to hear yesterday's shear. It's a little uh, too deep to get into right now, but... Basically, I explained that the mitzvah of sitzis, the primary mitzvah of sitzis, only applies during the day. So, we don't understand that because these are things that we can't really fathom. We think about our day-to-day -day necessities, our day-to-day -day obligations, to consume with them, with our, our needs and our, our uh, things that we're required to do. We can't focus on our wants, and the mitzvah of sitzis is one of those wants. You know, if I listened to that yesterday's share, I explained how it's based on the bedroom and things like that, that... There's two types of bedrooms, there's two types of times that are two types of relations between a man and a woman, and one is better during the day, one is better at night. Since this refers to the relationship during the day. So once we understand that, and most of the will understand that more, then you mechaev and call mitzvahs kula, and then you mechaev and all the mitzvahs, because technically we're not chaev in any of the mitzvahs now, because we don't understand them really. We, right, there's always, like the, the gross says, there's... there's Hard days, shot remez, drush, and so on. Shot drush, remez, and so on. Obviously, I, everyone knows that when you tell, when I tell you, uh, I ask you, what are you mechuyev? You're mechuyev in the sod of the mitzvah. The sod is the truth. The truth is the sod. Is we don't know the sod, but the drush is uh, the remez is a hint at the, the truth. Drush is even less than that. It's just an exegesis. It's related somehow to the sod. Shad and Mikri Yotze and Dimshuto, right? The Gemara says that it, it's also related to the Sod. Uh, there's truth to the Pshad also, but the real truth of it all in this is the Soda. We don't know the Soda. And now, Rabbi Shimon is alluding to that, and he's saying, Mr. Shesimah and Grama, that it only applies most to Mashiach. We understand the difference in Sus Yom and Sus Laila. If that's really true, so then technically, nowadays, we pass like the Rabbana, and that um, whatever we do nowadays in Machai and our mitzvahs should be. Um, Mitzvah says Shalom Azman Grama, and technically, 
it applies during the day and during the night. And you make a bracha during the day and during the night, whether it's Tzus Yom, Tzus Laila. That's what I'd like to say. That nowadays, we're passing the Rabbana, and, and Rabbi Shimon would agree to the Rabbana. And nowadays, it's not, it's not, it's my grandma, night, yes, night, no, day, yes, no. It's Moshe Mashiach, yes, now, no. The Rabbana hold nowadays, yes, you can mechai yourself in the mitzvah. And we're knowing like the Rabbana, that you can mechai yourself in the mitzvah. It's not the real soda of the mitzvah. The soda of the mitzvah will understand. Uh, and that is maybe the most important mitzvah. Sitzis is the most important mitzvah because understanding Sitzis and why it's important. That is the most important thing to people is uh, the bedroom and things like that. So when you understand the nature of the mitzvah of Sitzis, then you'll understand all the mitzvahs. All the mitzvahs go in that direction of enjoyment, the way to enjoy this world properly. And then you understand all the mitzvahs in Mechaim, all the mitzvahs. It sounds like a drusha, but I think this is the truth of the matter. See you tomorrow.